Here's your first alert forecast with meteorologist Barrett Phillips. Welcome back, everyone. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect uh, for parts of uh, northern Clay County here. This is pretty much the Henrietta area and also the Petrolia area as well. Now, this activity is moving southeast at a slow 10 miles an hour. It's actually slowed up a little bit in its movement over the last 30 minutes or so. This right here is for 60 mile per hour wind gusts now. So we did get those wind gusts lowered a little bit, but still severe. This is more of a standard severe storm warning as of right now with the 60 mile per hour wind gusts right in the along with quarter size hail as well. So the good news is it's pulsed down a little bit, but we'll take a closer look at it here. You do notice those winds quite gusty as they came out of the falls area. Now between Petrolia and Henrietta, some gustier winds going on right now. The core of the activity though is actually near the Jolly area, moving from Jolly closer to Henrietta. This right here is a little bit of quarter size hail that we're detecting up on radar as of right now. So we'll take more expansive look at what's going on out there for tonight. You notice that cool front continues to slip through the area and along and ahead of that, that's where we're seeing the scattered activity. Non severe storms here, but some heavier storms definitely toward the Monday area. Also some more activity once you go toward uh, Jefferson County, the Warwicka and the Hilton area as well. But that storm that we just took a look at, that's the only severe storm that we have as of this moment. We'll take a look at our temperatures. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s where we're seeing the rain cooled air today. 74 at the airport, 69 in the falls, the same in Duncan. Although still in the 80s out ahead of the activity, we have 82 in Bowie and 85 right now in Graham. So here's a look at the cool front kind of oozing its way through the area. It's a slow mover, but by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, it will have cleared at least most of the area. You'd also notice a little bit of a stationary front to the south. You also notice that we do have tropical storm Burl over here and uh, this right here is going to continue to lift on to the north, but the front that I just showed you all will direct this to the east of us. So Louisiana, East Texas, Arkansas, even southeast Oklahoma will get in on a little bit of beneficial rain from the tropical dis uh, disturbance there. But uh, regardless, you do notice another kind of wave to the northwest of us. This right here will pass through us as we head on into your month. Monday. So tonight's, like I said, a 20 to a 30% chance of activity. You do notice some activity coming in uh, as far as uh, um, some isolated scattered activity is concerned tomorrow as we head into the afternoon hours. And yes, you notice some rain across southeast Oklahoma. That right there is due to Burl. But once again, that front directing that to the east of us. So if we do receive any rain tomorrow, it's going to be pretty much um, just due to a minor disturbance in the upper levels, not um, associated with Burl. Anyways, take a look at tomorrow, about a 30-40% chance of activity there for your Monday. You notice temperatures are going to be lower. We're going to be in the upper 80s. Drying out Tuesday, temperatures near 90 degrees. Then we're in the mid to upper 90s and temperatures slowly creep upward as we head into the weekend. About a, We're going to hold on to about a 10% chance of activity through the rest of the seven-day forecast, but that's about it. Temperatures in the triple digits over the weekend.